Hi Libras and welcome. My, uh, my name is Inez and today I'll be doing your weekly reading from October 13th to the 19th. Now, please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot or will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, I'm still offering the free uh, 15 minutes phone reading. And if you're interested, you can email me at my email, which is intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com, but you must subscribe first, okay? Now, I already shuffle the cards off camera for the sake of time. I'll shuffle them one more time for you guys, Libra, okay? Please tell me about Libras in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Libras in love from October 9th, 13th to the 19th. 2019. Please tell me about Libras in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Libras, 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 Libras. Okay, here we go. Please tell me about Libras in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Libras in love from October 13th to the 19th, 2019. Please tell me about Libras in love from October 13th to the 19th. Please tell me about Libras in love. Please tell me about Libras in love from October. Okay. Uh, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Nine of Wands, the Empress, and what's this? The Seven of Wands. <laughs> okay, so... Looks like here somebody is not giving up. They're being very persistent here. They're fighting. They're standing up for themselves. They're fighting for what they believe is right. And they're listening to their intuition. And they're being very persistent about this. Now, this could be either you or them, Libra. Okay? And whoever this person is, they're being very persistent. And they're not giving up. They're fighting for what they believe is right. And they're listening to their intuition. So, let's find out more about this. Let's clarify this. Okay. Please tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Give me more information on the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Give me more information on the Knight of Wands. Okay. So, we got the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Wands. So, there was an ending here. And somebody seems like they don't want to accept the, accept the ending. Seems like they don't want to accept it because they're still being very persistent about this. And with the Wheel of Fortune here, it's showing me that... Uh, it's, I feel actually if time would uh luck is within your side and the will is turning within your favor. So there could be a new passionate beginning here. Because someone here they're being very persistent. They don't want to accept the fact that it's ended, that this has ended, because we got the nine of wands and the ten of swords. So there was an ending here. But someone doesn't want to accept it. So this person still believes that you guys will be together. And it could happen all within divine timing. It could happen. You can have this new beginning, this passionate new beginning with this Ace of Wands here. You can happen, but everything's going to be within divine timing. So you have to let it unfold naturally. <clears throat> Let's find out about the High Priestess. Because this High Priestess, she knows things. She knows secrets. So let's find out about her. 
Okay. Please give me, please tell me more about the high pieces. Okay. Please tell me more about the high pieces. Why is the high pieces here? Please tell me about the high pieces. Why is the high pieces here? So patience is needed here. Okay. So someone's coming in. So what we have, we have temperance. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have the Ten of Cups as well. And we also have the Page of Cups. So you could be dealing, so you could be dealing with a fire sign. Because I have fire here and I also have air. And now I have water. And you could be dealing with a temperance. I mean, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a... Uh, Sagittarius, as I said, and let's see, and a and fire sign or a fire sign. So with this here, with a temperance, an offer is going to be made here. There's an offer that's going to be made, but it's going to require patience, and things are going to need to be balanced out with a temperance here. Patience is needed and things will need to be balanced out in order for you to get this Ten of Cups here. For you to receive the Ten of Cups, you're going to need to have patience and um, there's going to have to be balance within that, within that commitment. Uh, yeah. It's gonna have to be balanced. It's gonna you're gonna need balance here. And it could also looks like that some healing is need healing is gonna need to take place. Because with the temperance and the ten of swords, this is healing. Healing needs to take place here as well. Healing's gonna be needed in order so both you guys, you either you or them needs to heal. The relationship itself needs to heal in order for it to work. You're going to need to work together, balance, make sure that everything's balanced, and patience gonna be, is going to be required here. It's going to require patience from you in order for you to have this. Because you have the will of fortunes within, it's turning within your favor. So the opportunity is here for you to have this uh, new beginning. The opportunity is here. But... Not but also you will need to have the patience and things need to be balanced and you also and the relationship needs to heal because there's because there's an offer that's coming in here but this offer ain't gonna be no good if the relationship itself hasn't been healed if you guys are not seeing things eye to eye if things are not balanced and you know, there's no patience. It's not good. It's basically a waste of time because, you know, why are you making an offering if nothing's going to change? You're going to have to change. Things are going to have to change. So let's find out about the Seven of Wands. Please give me more information on the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Please give me more information on the Seven of Wands. Give me more information on the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? Give me more information on the seven of wands. Yeah. We got check. We got second chances again. Somebody's coming back. And look at the bottom of the deck. We had the Ace of Pentacles. We have to, uh, this is a solid new beginning, and under that, we have the Knight of Pentacles coming in slow. And look, we have the Page of Cups making that offering. And then we got the Eight of Wands, communication or traveling. Either traveling, either somebody's traveling to you or you traveling to them. There's fast communication here, either by text or email, what's up, but it's fast communication here. And... Clarifying the Seven of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands. This is the Nine of Wands. So, again, the Nine of Wands. It came out twice. It's coming out twice. So, this person is not giving up. 
they're being very persistent here because we also got the nine of wands and we also got the eight of cups in reverse so they're coming back so you guys did separate of course there was an ending here and somebody walked away because if they're coming back that means somebody had to leave because you gotta leave in order for you to come back right you got the eight of cups in reverse so someone is coming back and then we got judgment so someone is coming back for a second chance this is a second chance here so basically the wheel of fortune and judgment they're somewhat similar because the wheel of fortune is turning within your favor you have good luck coming to you this is good luck you know in your favor you know good karma is coming to you and then you got judgment here which judgment is also a second chance having second opportunities so you have it here the opportunities here for you to have a second opportunity a second chance because it's right here this person whoever this person is this is either you or them libra but whoever this person is they're not giving up uh -uh. this person is going to be very persistent they're going to uh fight they're going to this person is going to fight for the relationship they're not going to give up very very easily they're going to fight for the relationship you're the one that they're coming that they want yes they're coming in as a page but as a page it turns into the ten of cups and this is a new beginning for you so you have new be you have the opportunity here to have a new beginning with this person now i know you guys already know who this person is because if this person is coming back you know you already know who this person is and of course you're not going to give a second opportunity to a total stranger you've never been with them so why will you be giving them a second opportunity right so but this is good Libra but again this is all free will this is all free will so it's going to be your decision if you decide to take this person back now I don't know your life you know your life better than I do so it's the relationship that ended for a reason I'm pretty sure it didn't end because it was all great and wonderful and it was awesome it was like it was the bomb I'm pretty sure that wasn't the reason that it ended. I'm pretty sure there were other reasons that the, end, that the relationship came to an end. And depending on how severe the situation was, that's your decision if you choose to take this person back. I, myself, can only tell you what I see here. And like I said, this is free will. The opportunity is here. You got the opportunities here for this new beginning and for you to have this. The opportunities here, but you have to choose to take it. You have to choose to do it. Because if you don't choose it, then you can't have this. At least with a person that's coming back, you can't have this. Now, if you choose to do it, then yes, you can have. You, you can have your ten of cups with this person that comes back. But that's totally your decision not mine i can't tell you what you should do you know what your relationship was if it was a crappy relationship maybe this time will be better if it was a, if it was a domestic partner relationship domestic violence i wouldn't go back to that and i don't suggest and i suggest nobody goes back to no relationship where there's violence in it you don't need to be in that type of relationship if they don't know I love you, then let them go. But, like I said, at the end of the day, it's your decision, not mine. So let's get you a love advice reading. And I'm using Angel Power. Okay, please give me a love advice reading for Libra. Please give me a love advice reading. For Libra, love of life, feeling for Libra. Surprise is on, surprises are, no, a surprise is on the horizon. <laughs> Expect a nice surprise. I think I just told you, I think I just gave away your surprise. Okay. I think your surprise was me telling you who's coming back. 
right? But either way, this is all I have for you, Libras. Oh, and again, happy birthdays. Happy birthday to my Libras, okay? And you guys have a good time on your birthday. Don't party too hard now. But either way, I will see you guys again next week. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? Bye.